Well, hello everybody. We are here in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and we are going to be eating at the place you see behind us. It's called the Beacon Drive-In, and this is an iconic landmark here in Spartanburg. This is our second time here. We were here 11 years ago, uh, so we wanted to come back again. We're on our way to Florida, actually, so uh, we detoured off of Interstate 85 just a little bit to come here, and um, the place you see behind us has been here uh, since 1946. It actually opened on Thanksgiving Day in 1946, so it's been here uh, 76 years now. Ironically, they're closed on Thanksgiving now, which is good, but uh, this place is known and it's famous for um, what they call a plenty plates, which is basically like a chili cheeseburger and they are smothered with onion rings and french fries over the top of it. So um, I don't know what she's going to be getting. I'm going to be trying something else. Uh, today, but they're famous for a lot of things like that. They're also famous for their pulled pork barbecue. They got a lot of other things. And I'll show you the menu. They got fried chicken, uh, hot dogs, um, just an old timey diner here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So we're going to go in here and check it out and uh, see how it is. up the steps now to go in the beacon they have a little outside eating area here on the front porch the only drawback about it right now is it's not really convenient off of the interstate we had to go like seven or eight miles off the interstate just to get here so we're getting ready to go in the door another thing they're famous for is their iced tea now um we were reading about it and it says they sell more iced tea than any place in the country and a lot of famous people have come here um, several presidents and governors oh, Fred Thompson he was a politician, senator I remember him when he was still alive I'll show that here in just a minute but a lot of famous people have been through here Gabriel Swagger, that's Jimmy Swagger's grandson. Oh yeah, up here's the uh, plenty. Uh, there's a fish, that's a, looks like a catfish there. You can get that one burger too, I think. Ice cream of plenty, that, that's way too much ice cream. Yeah, I'm going to get to him in just a minute. We're going to tell you all about a very special employee at this place here in just a few minutes. In fact, there's his name right there, Mr. J.C. Strobel. We'll tell you a lot more about him here in a little bit. We actually met J.C. when we were here in 2011. He, uh, he took our order that night. All right, let me swing around this wall. There's old J.C. himself, J.C. Strobel. Helped put the Beacon Drive in on the map. He started in 1958 as a car hop. Started in 1958 as a car hop. He was 14 years old at the time, folks. Uh, we'll tell you more about that. And that was his slogan: "Was call it." That's how he took your order. Um, JC was known to order for you if you weren't ready. That's I like that. Made sure everyone had a memorable experience. The thing about JC is he was legally blind. And um, again, I don't want to get ahead of myself. We'll tell you all more about him in just a minute. But he uh, was legally blind and worked here for a long, long time. So. A lot here. To As you can see, they take you over the old fashioned way here, they holler it out. And you got a gift shop here, you can get you a t-shirt. Is there more than one? 
Oh, no, that's signs to tell you how far you are from various places. So I didn't think there was that many locations. <laughs> that's cool. And they're also famous. I've been telling you what they're famous for. They're also famous for their onion rings, which they make here. Which I'm going to get. Yeah. Now, the last time my wife got those, she said they stayed with you about, what, three days? Yeah, they're very greasy. So here's the menus. We're over here at the side entrance now. There's old J. There's old painting of JC again. And for all you Crimson Tide fans, I'm sorry, but I'm not. But I am. I'm a Tennessee fan, but I was pulling for Clemson. They've got quite a menu here, so I'm gonna let you see it. Like I said, this place has been a landmark here for a long, long time. I don't know if I can get two sections at once here. That'll speed things up just a little bit. Is that more or is that just the same menu? Okay, good. And I thought I have a breakfast menu on the other side. Now that chicken stew, that, I'm curious about that. I don't think I'm going to get it, but that sounds interesting. All right, well, there's the menu. Desserts. You're in South Carolina, so of course they're going to have something peach. So, all right, we're going to order and we'll let you see the food. Okay, I think we figured out what we're going to get. So, I need a 12 This is where JC stood. He would holler out, uh, call it. Huh? Okay. Here's their it's like pecan pie, apple pie, and I'm not sure what that is. I bet that's the that's probably the peach cobbler, but since that was one of our sides, do we just get that here? Or just... I'm gonna wait and see what they say. Okay. Right. Actually, sit here and watch them cook it. Really like the nostalgic feel of this place. We're right here in Spartanburg, the home of Wofford College. All right, here's our food. And Shauna, see what did you get again? I got a pimento cheese hamburger. A pimento cheese hamburger. Lettuce, tomato, mayo. You see all those onion rings on it. Onion rings. Look at all those. Pull the lid off your peach cobbler there. Let's look at that. Ooh, that looks good. Yep, there's the peach cobbler, and I got the fried chicken with mac and cheese. That's a very generous helping of macaroni and cheese. And I got peach cobbler as well. Um, mine was $11.99. I don't think that's a bad deal for four pieces of chicken. You see what mine was? I don't remember how much mine was. I don't. Well, don't say this just has our total. What was the total? Total with the drink was $27.84. Yeah, yours is probably about the same or maybe a little cheaper. That's not bad. Look at, all, look at that macaroni and cheese. That's twice what some places get you. Four pieces of chicken. Uh, pan around in here. There's men of Plenty Bible Study. I guess that's kind of a play on the phrase here. Oh, yeah. platters. So. Here's the inside of the bacon. I think last time we were here, we ate inside over in that section. Hey, we actually decided to come back into the main dining part. We were on the front porch. This is where we sat. We were here 11 years ago. We had our boys with us. JC on the wall again. All right, tell us what you think. Onion ring. They're very good. 
Very good. Let's we'll see how you like your burger. I can get a hold of it. I can get any meat. Hold on. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay, everybody. We just finished up our uh, meal at the Beacon here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And in case y'all are wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt now than I was at the beginning of this video, it's because I got macaroni and cheese all over the other one. So, so I had to change shirts. But here we are. Um, we're going to review our meal at the Beacon here. I'm going to let Shaughnessy go first and tell you what she had and what she thought of everything. So I got the pimento cheeseburger which was really good. Um, I really liked the pimento cheese on it because it was like, the pimento cheese was heated, so it made it really cheesy. It was really good. So the burger was good. Um, they really piled on the onion rings. Onion rings, <clears throat> very good. Very greasy. I actually very liked them. Good. I don't like onions, but I did try a couple yeah. and I thought they were pretty good. Um, and they, I don't want this to sound like a complaint because it's not, but they give you so many of them, they don't stay hot long enough for you to finish them. Uh, but they have very yeah, flavorful. She was eating like eight at a time. Yeah, too, I mean so. handfuls of it. So they were very generous with the portions. Exactly, yeah. So that's not a complaint. Um, and then I got the peach cobbler. And that peach cobbler was very good. It just took me so long to eat my other stuff that it was a little cold when I got it. But it was fine. Um, still very good. My meal was good. And I got <laughs> the famous original tea that is um, has the lemon juice already in it. So my meal is good. I have no complaints. Okay, would you come here again? Yep. Okay, um, yeah, I would pretty much agree with everything she said. The only problem about this place, it's been here so long, it is a pretty good little ways off of Interstate 85. So if you're coming down Interstate 85 and you wanna try it, by all means do so, but understand it's about a, a 15 mile round trip to cut off and then get back onto the interstate. So just keep that in mind, but it's kind of, I guess close to downtown Spartanburg. But we'd been here one other time in 2011. We decided we wanted to come here again and do a review. I had the fried chicken. I tried something different this time. Um, I got the half of uh, fried chicken that came with four pieces and two sides. Uh, for $11.95, that's kind of hard to beat, especially with the, I, if you saw the portion of macaroni cheese, I really, really like the macaroni cheese. It's the baked macaroni cheese with that uh, topping on top. I, you ask her, I really, really like that. Like the kind you get in the cafeteria. Um, I liked it when it was in my mouth and not on my shirt. Uh, it was good, but I didn't care for it on my shirt, but it was good in my mouth. So um, I would definitely get the uh, macaroni and cheese. The chicken was good. Like she said, it takes you so long to eat. They give you so much. Uh, it takes you so long to eat. By the time I got the chicken breast, I ate that last. It was a little bit dried out, but it would have been good if I had maybe eaten it first. But everything else was, was great. The peach cobbler. Now, I'm not a cobbler person. I like a pie better than I do a cobbler because I guess it's more breading in a cobbler, but I did get it because, you know, we're in upstate South Carolina and, and got to get some peach. It just seemed like the right thing to do. So I did get that. That was the best peach cobbler, hands down, I've ever had. Uh, very, very flavorful. I asked her, I said, I don't even know how you make it. I said, what kind of spice is going to peach cobbler? Because it was just very, very flavorful. Uh, she suggested maybe they were using brown sugar with, with the white sugar. I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but excellent peach cobbler. I would get that again if I came here. Um, I would definitely do it again. Now, I want to tell y'all a little bit about an employee um, <clears throat> that, that worked here for a long, long time named J.C. Strobel. I showed you his picture. Now, um, what's interesting about J.C. is, uh, like I say, we met him our first visit here, and J.C. was legally blind. From the time he was 40 years old, he was legally blind and continued to work here. <clears throat> what's interesting, he was hired here at the age of 14 years old. What year did they say it was? It was posted in there, I don't remember the year. I don't remember what year. But um, I'd have to do the math, but he worked here from the time he was 14 years old until the time he was 71. That's almost 58 years, 57 years, JC worked right here at the Beacon. So unless he had a second job somewhere, that would mean this was really his only job, I would think, that he ever had. And that says a lot maybe about the way they treat their employees or just that he loved meeting people. <clears throat> and the legacy that he had was that he loved everybody and that um, he had a famous slogan as he was getting ready to take your order and it was he would say it in his own unique way call it so Shaughnessy's going to do her <laughs> best uh, imitation now of JC you want to do a call it call it yeah it sounded something like that so he was a lot louder and 
Um, yeah, I don't want everybody in the parking lot looking at me. Yeah, <laughs> but um, that was his trademark. He, and what he would do is you tell him what you wanted, he'd holler it out, and that's how they still do it here. They they yell your order out here, and um, it's just it's a neat experience to come here. Uh, JC back in 2013 uh, did suffer a fall tragically and uh, sustained some brain injury, and. Uh, he had already stated to his family that he did not want to be kept on life support, that he just said he wanted his life to be in God's hands and that God would take care of it whichever way it went. So his family respected that. And J.C. did pass away in 2013 at the age of 71 years old. He was a, a fixture here for almost 58 years. So you need, uh, if you ever come here, read a little bit about his story. Remarkable man. And um, one of the things he would also say to employees as they left was have a blessed day. So that's how we're going to end this. Um, we're going to ask you to like and subscribe and find us on Facebook and we're going to say just like JC would, have a blessed day.